Hello, this is Siraj from Kind Studio. Today we're going to look at Cal.com. It's an event scheduling web app, a software application designed to help individuals, businesses, organizations make plan, manage, coordinate various types of events. Uh, calendar integration, event creation and management, invitations and RSVPs, you can do all kinds of uh, cool things with it. They have different par pricing points and plans for uh, your different needs uh, if you're an individual and uh, want to set up your own a public profile where people can come and book a conference call with you this is a perfect place they can talk to you through whichever app you're using whether it's zoom whether it's google meet or teams whichever you can set it up uh, inside your dashboard so here i am inside my dashboard this is i have uh, um well um by default they give you like three different um three different types of events uh, I only uh, enabled like, this 15 minute event right now. So uh, what we're going to look at today is how we can integrate this into our web WordPress website. It's a pretty uh, easy to use setup. Um, um, right off the bat, you get this, um, you get this few shortcut icons. So first, like whether like you want to make it public or not, these two are hidden, so these are grayed out. This is open so people can come in and like uh, book a 15 minutes uh, call with me. And uh, first you have a preview, how it would look like. So if you press here, so um, if people are looking on my public profile, they will get a, a calendar like layout and they can simply click on uh, whichever date uh, works for them and they can book a 15 minute slot anytime, uh, whichever is convenient for them. For now, we are looking at uh, how we can integrate this into our uh, website. So I have already created a uh, demo, uh, well, created a live uh, button for it. So uh, for, for example, if I click here, so you'll see that I, it takes me to the same, uh, same layout, but this is overlaid on top of my website. So this is exactly what we want to see how we can integrate directly onto our WordPress. So um, to do it, you can firstly, you can use a link, but uh, like link to the event. So this link will actually take you to this preview page. It will not create this overlay to create an overlay you have to embed it so uh, to embed if you click this uh, this button then you'll get you uh, it, it will take you to like different other options like you can edit to uh, duplicate embed or delete it uh, I can click from here I just say okay embed uh, and then you have like four different options how you can embed it onto your uh, onto your own website or email so uh, if you go inside, they will, it will give you a lot of other um, options. Uh, for now, we're gonna leave it out as is, and we're going to integrate it um, onto our website. So, so here I have opened a very um, simple demo page. It's a, it's a draft page, so it's not public uh, or anything. It's just like r uh, right here. So uh, first thing what we can do, we can simply uh, do an inline embed. So if we click here, it will pop another window. So and it has this HTML uh, code right here. So you can do some other changes. You can make some other changes like uh, window sizing and all this uh, th theme. You can change the theme, dark theme or light theme. You can, uh, you can turn on and off this uh, event type details whether you want the details to be visible or not you can use your own brand color which whichever, whichever works uh, well for your brand uh, layout whether you do want uh, you want to do monthly weekly or column style we we'll just keep it as month so what you want to do is simply copy the code and uh, you can preview it here by the way so this is how it's going to look like so if you want to change it to weekly so it will look like this if you want to change it to column it will look some something like this um, so we're going to go back to month and then we're going to copy the code, then put, come back to our WordPress page It's a new page. So to embed, to embed it on our 
WordPress website, we're going to create a custom HTML block. And then we're simply going to paste the codes here. And this will automatically pop that, that calendar layout right here. So you can, you can see a preview uh, right, right inside of the editor, or you can go to the preview in a new tab and it will show you the, uh, the, the calendar right here. So it's, it works exactly the same as it would on your separate preview uh, page uh, for on, on, on cal.com. Um, so this is the first way we're going to look into. So let's delete this. Uh, so the second second method is we go. We're going to close this. So the second method is we do it as a floating pop up button. So what's going to happen there is going to create a uh, a pop up button just right here, just like this right here. So if you click here, the pop up button it will. Uh, it will create a separate overlay of a pop-up with that same same calendar. So similar to what we did before, actually exactly the same as we did what we did before. We're gonna copy the code, create a create a custom HTML block right here, and that's it. So you're not going to be able to see the preview here. If you press PV preview, it will kind of uh, uh, kind of disappear, but it's still there. Uh, you can see the block is still there because the reason we don't see the preview here because we don't see the floating pop up button right here. So what we want to do to see this in action, we're going to go to preview on a new tab and what's going to what's going to happen is is going to create this like floating button right on the bottom so once you once you click that the the calendar should pop up right there it works perfectly fine this this might be a very good uh very good option for your uh for your case um in 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 different cases uh you might want to have this pop up button right there like uh, sticking on the uh on the page all the time uh, for 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 my case, I needed something more that is uh, that is that is pasted on a certain certain uh, block or under a certain um, certain call to action or so. So that's what we what, what we're gonna try to do right now. So um, if we go back here and instead of instead of using a floating pop up button, we want to do a pop up via element click. So this is where it might uh, get a bit tricky uh, it took me a little time when I was first trying to integrate it uh, because uh, because I was a little lost with the how I'm going to link it with a button so I figured out eventually so what I have to do is I copy the code again same thing we're gonna create a HTML block we're gonna paste it. Nothing's gonna happen. We don't see anything. And if we if we go back to the preview, uh, like there 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 are no floating buttons or anything because we never actually connected with any button. So that's what exactly what we're gonna do. To create a button, w we cannot use the button block in here. This will not work because it does not give you the ability to. Uh, link a uh, custom class or, or um, a custom selector. Uh, that's why instead of using a button, we're, what we're going to do, we're going to write another HTML. Uh, we're going to create another HTML uh, block, custom HTML block, and then we're simply going to say write button and uh, and then we say we're gonna say uh, click me and uh, so this this is it once we have once we create this we have created a button so now you see, you can see there's a button right there um, but this doesn't do anything because it's not linked to anything so what 
what we have to do here, so now after button, before the, the closing symbol, what we're going to do, we're going to copy this part right here. So here's a little comment in here. Important, please add the following attributes to the element that you trigger the calendar to open by clicking. So uh, what we want to do, we, we're simply going to copy the first one. Not the single quotes, but the double quotes will have to stay. Not the single quotes. Let me repeat. Like the single quotes for in and out, we we can uh, we don't need that. We need the double quotes inside in here because this is going to connect to the element and then we're simply going to paste it here once we have done it this should work fine so now we have a we should have a working working button so once we click it then the calendar should pop up and you can you can uh, stylize this button as you want in another video we will cover how we can uh, customize this button using CSS and we can do all kinds of like very interesting styles and all these things uh, and if you want to make it make the button like uh, position the button like left or right or center so what you want to do you, you want to enclose it within a um, <coughs> within a stack so uh, you can create a stack right there but I have a little a cool shortcut I figured out so all you can do is, all, all you have to do is just click this um, three dots click group so it will create a group but we don't need a group we need a stack so here's another simple uh, shortcut transform to stack once you do it so now you have all the options of how you want to justify this uh, do you want it in center or right uh, you know you can do it from here it will be added uh, to the to its child object which is this button right now so that's it for today so I hope that was useful um, but maybe before we go we can also take a quick look at how this last option of embedding on um, embedding on emails work as simply as said we can uh, copy this into our directly into our emails uh, you have to s select some of the available you can select some of the available uh, slots for the person you're sending it over to uh, to give them a, a indication when you're available or not and then you just copy and paste it on your email so uh, that's about it we are going to end this short video thank you so much I hope you enjoyed it take care we'll get back soon